Hey, Lisette here for Tool Tester. If you've decided to supercharge your email marketing game with GetResponse, but aren't quite sure where to start, you've come to the right place. In this tutorial, we'll walk you through setting up your GetResponse account, creating a contact list, and launching your very first email campaign. Let's dive in. Let's start by getting your GetResponse account up and running. The good news is that the signup process is super straightforward. Start by heading to the GetResponse homepage, which we've linked to in the description below. Then simply hit Create a Free Account to begin. Remember, signing up here gets you a free trial of their premium features. And what's great is that you won't need to provide any credit card details just yet. After this, head to your inbox where you should see a confirmation email. Now you're ready to log in and can start using GetResponse straight away. Once you're in, you'll land on a welcome page where they'll ask you for your company name and phone number, which are both optional. However, you will need to provide your full address. GetResponse will then guide you to the right place by providing a tour of some of their features. You can choose among building an audience, sending emails, or promoting a store. What's more, they even have a chatbot available offering you live support in case you need some help. Setting up your account doesn't get much easier than this. And if you're a bit more experienced or just prefer to figure it out for yourself, you can click the button in the bottom right-hand corner and choose to explore the dashboard on your own. Next, head over to your dashboard. GetResponse kindly provides step-by-step -step guides to help you understand how to add your contacts, create your first email, and welcome your subscribers. We'll also cover these basics in this tutorial. As you can see, the interface is incredibly user-friendly. You can even edit the Quick Actions widget on the homepage so that you have immediate access to your key email marketing tasks, whether it's creating a newsletter, a pop-up form, a landing page, or simply adding new contacts, it will just take one click from your personalized dashboard to get to the right place. Here, you'll also see that GetResponse provides a generous tips and tricks section that includes video tutorials, help center articles, and other resources. All these features, partnered with its live chat, demonstrate GetResponse really focuses on creating a great user experience. Now that you've set up your general settings and explored the dashboard a little, it's time to create your first contact list. So let's head over to the Contacts tab. Click on the Create List button. Here, you'll be asked for a list name. We recommend keeping it clear and concise so your contacts are well organized. Then, you can easily select the audience you want to reach with your future campaigns. Next, click on the Add Contacts button. But you'll first need to select your list name, so make sure you double check and select the list you wish to add these specific contacts to. Next, select how you want to upload these contacts. For this tutorial, we will choose the File Upload method. To use this method, you just need to ensure your contacts are well organized into columns and decide which details to include. In our example, we have used email address, first name, last name, and company. Once you've uploaded your CSV file, make sure your fields are assigned properly and that the data is mapped out correctly. This step is important if you decide that you want to personalize your campaigns, such as adding your contact's first name to the subject line or email body. Now that you've created your first list and you've finished importing and mapping out your contacts, it's time to create your first email campaign. Click on the Email Marketing tab in the main menu at the top. First, you'll be asked how you want to create your email, meaning whether you want to build a campaign from scratch or customize a pre-designed template with a drag and drop editor. Alternatively, you can select Create with AI Email Generator. This involves answering a few questions about the topic of your campaign, your business, audience, and finally, the type of email you want to send. You can choose from a welcome email, follow-up email, sales email, happy birthday email, and more. This is an incredibly useful feature if you need some help putting your campaigns together, whether it's content inspiration or just general AI assistance. However, you'll only be able to use their AI email generator three times within this free trial period. And if you'd like to keep using it after, you'll need to upgrade to one of their paid plans. To help you decide which plan is best for you, we have a link to our detailed pricing overview in the description. For this tutorial, we will select the By Yourself email creation option, which means using their drag and drop editor to create a modern looking email campaign. Once you've named your email campaign, select your From and Reply To email addresses. Now it's time to come up with an engaging subject line. 
To make your job easier, we have our very own subject line tester, which gives you a peek at how this will look in your audience's inbox. Feel free to give it a try through the link in the description. Next, select the recipients you'd like to send this campaign to. Now it's time for the fun part, designing your email. Click the Design Message button and you'll see more than 150 email templates across various categories. So let's just say you won't be stuck for inspiration. And as we mentioned, you'll also have the option to create your own emails from scratch. You can do this by using their blank templates or pasting and uploading your own email code into their HTML editor. Once you've selected the template you'd like to use, you can play around with their drag and drop editor using their basic blocks to add images, text, buttons, and more. You'll want to make sure your email is visually appealing and easy to read for your audience. Once you're happy with your design, hit Save, then Next, and you'll be given the option to send a test email to yourself. Finally, once you've seen how your campaign will look in your inbox, it's time to send it to your contacts. You can choose to send this immediately or to schedule your campaign for a day and time that suits your audience. And that's it! You've successfully created your first email campaign with GetResponse. Thanks for watching our tutorial. We hope you found it helpful. Check out the links in the description below for more information. And as always, feel free to write to us in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel for more tutorials like this one and see you soon.